very quickly and come back with it in a moment as Thatcher Hurd rocks and fires. And Thatcher Hurd is making his first start, Ronnie, in more than three weeks. Velasquez out of Far, Texas. 6'2", 205 pounder. The runner is on the move and the pitch gets through Brady Neal. An easy stolen base for Velasquez. Before you try to throw the runner out at second. A breaking pitch is hammered deep to right field and this ball is up in the bleachers. You hang them, we'll bang them. Sanford got a pitch over the middle of the plate that just spun there and he rips his 12th home run of the season. It's his fifth home run in the last four games. Boy, how about the moment for that young man? By the way, the coach who signed him, Paul Maneri, is here at the ball game sitting with Ron Maestri, the former UNO legend. And this is just a, a hanging breaking ball right above the knees. He was not fooled, timed it perfectly. In a, and, of course, you're always going to remember that one, hitting against a home run against your old school. Uceche drops a pitch into center field for a base hit. So a walk, a two-run homer, is driven in 25. And that hit him, a breaking pitch curled in on the body. And that's a good pitch. That one had a little twist, a little jerk to it when it got to the outside corner. Jared Jones is chasing it near the dugout. He's got room. He reaches over the railing and plucks it. For the third out. Yeah. Cling with a very patient at bat and a courageous take. The infield is back. It's at double play depth. The runner is moving. White is swinging. The throw is offline. Cling has a stolen base. He pops up. He's on his way to third as the throw went sailing into center field. Now LSU last year averaged over two home runs a game. This year they're about a, a homer and a half. White with a very controlled swing. Sends a liner to right field. That's an excellent at bat for Tommy White. He led the nation in RBI last year despite missing a handful of games with injury. Michael Braswell and Ashton Larson. Larson sends it out to left field. Sonia is there and he's got it a few feet in front of the warning track. There's ball four to Isaac Williams at the bottom of the order. But this week, in 1877, the first use of a catcher's uh, mask. They got them both. Milam, Braswell to Jones. He was the first, uh, UNO was the first program to go to the College World Series from the state of Louisiana and Omaha in 1984. They did it two years before LSU did it in 1986. The privateers have played nine Southland Conference games. They've won six of them. Bingham on the move. Bingham looking up at the wall. This ball is gone. Diego Velasquez, who walked and scored in the first inning, cracks his fourth home run of the season. And the privateers on two home runs have scored three runs. As a 92 mile an hour fastball by Dutton down and in. Look, that's where they wanted to throw it. I mean, he actually was off the plate in. I mean, you saw the. This time he goes down on strikes. The one two pitch swing and a miss. So a one two three inning following. Here we go at two two. Bingham is chasing now crosses over into foul ground. And Hurst, who flirted with an extra base hit, if not a home run last time, this time does bang a double into the left field corner. Ground ball left side. Braswell has it. Makes the throw over to Jones, and the inning is retired. Knees. But that one didn't fool anybody. No, it did not. This leaves a contrail as it leaves the yard. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Jared Jones has just blasted his 15th home run of the year. Wow. Well, his, Jared Jones first time up, he hit an absolute seed to center field. I mean, hit the ball right on the button, wasn't fooled at all, but he just hit it right at the center field this time. He said, I'll just do it myself. And 
almost knocked down the fence on the back row and left field. I mean, this ball was just what look at look at it just hit the fence at LSU in 2021 and he had a pretty good freshman campaign. South Carolina has drawn 256 walks Ronnie. That's the most in the country. He could not catch up with it and strikes out for the second straight time. A, a giant in state rival LSU and UL are exciting softball rivals. Got him. Six four three. But also the Tigers for Florida Wilkerson. Yeah. It was uh, 96 97 something like that. Lined fair inside the line down in the right field corner. Kling rounds third. Kling is being waved home. Kling will make it easily and a triple for Stephen Milam his second of the year as he rips it right down the foul line. It rolled around in the right field corner and the monster has driven in a run. Milam got a fastball that leaked inside. They intended it to be away and leaked back over that inner third. And he last time up he hit the ball pretty well. The pitch rounded up the middle. The shortstop's got it. This will score a run. Tommy White is retired. Loop to Callaway. But LSU grabs the lead for the first time. Since then. Jones with a patient at bat draws a walk. The privateer scored two in the first and added one in the third. Larson is first pitch swinging. This ball is carrying out toward left. Sonia is there in front of the warning track. And the big right hander brings the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. They'll have to be a throw to first. Neal slings it down. Christian Little to the plate. Swing and a miss on some heat. That's high, and there's a two out walk. Here we go at 3 2. Swing and a miss. He came inside, tied him up. And Justin Lohr. 1995 in a top 25 poll. How far will this go? Travinsky is rounding first, looking up. It's a home run. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Hayden Travinsky just whacks his 10th home run of the season. And now, Ronnie, this Tiger lineup has three double digit home run producers. Jones and. Those are the big boppers. Uh, Tiger fans expected double digit homers from all three of them. Bingham not far behind. I think he's got like eight. He'll be there soon. The pitch. Chop to the shortstop who charges, makes a nice play again, gets his man at first base. Uh oh. Here's a high fly ball carrying to right field. It's back, it's back. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Brady Neal for the fifth time this year has just smacked one. And the Tigers get solo home runs by Travinsky and another one by Neal here in the sixth inning. She's got a ticket to ride. Now Brady Neal pulls his hands through. That ball's up and in. That's right on him. And he was able to pull his hands through. And look at the girls <laughs> getting out of the way of it. I think it might have found one. I think it hit a, hit one of the uh, and somebody else got the ball and gave it back to her. She didn't drop her beer though. That's a veteran move. That's a clean shot into left field for a base hit. That's two for four now for Useche. Texas A&M at Alabama. That's a fair ball. Jones throws it down and the slide is right into the tag applied by Braswell. And that is the third double play turned by LSU tonight. Another chance for Braswell. And that's a safe at first base this season. Larson is there in right field. And a chop off the chest of Jones. He's able to recover, but then he flips it back over the head of Uyoa. We'll pass it along when we get the official ruling. 
Milazzo cannot find it, and it's Uyoa who calls off Jones and brings the 3 2 pitch. It's belted into center field. Kling is on it, and Kling makes the catch. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. This game is over. He probably threw, saved his best pitch for his last pitch. That was an 87 mile an hour cut slider.